Hello and welcome to another sort of short video from me, Sam, at Studentit. I just wanted to talk about why we should join a sports club or society at university. I did hockey at Lincoln University. I played hockey all my life, but I found it really good for me to go and play hockey at university. And I think these are the reasons why you should too. Um, first one, you get to meet so many incredible people. It's amazing. Um, you know, as, as a first year going there, it can be quite daunting. You know, the first people you meet are usually those ones in your apartment. <clears throat> and sometimes you get, a lot of the time you get on with them, sometimes you don't get on with them. You know, sometimes you're un, you're unfortunate and they, you just don't have a common interest and that's absolutely fine. Um, and in this sort of club society, everyone has a common interest and it's like one thing while you're all day. It could be, you know, law, psychology, hockey, football, uh, ultimate frisbee, um anything you're all there for one reason um, and that's a great commonality to have and as a first year you open yourself up to all the shortcuts of university because when I went there you know I needed some advice and I just I went into the hockey group uh, and there was people that had been there three four five years um, you know doing various degrees um, and they said well no you want to go to the you know the library at this time you want to the shop at the supermarket at this time you know actually that supermarket's always busy go to this supermarket um, you know don't do this for your coursework look at this um, and there was people that did the course that I was doing so I was able to connect with them and say well actually you know what about this you know and they would say well this is a really good book on that you know, look at this research and it just opens your whole world from being very small as a first year to knowing uh, not that many people to you know bam a hundred uh, 150 however many people there are in the sports club or society um, it's a nice way for you to get involved in their socials as well so you, you know you don't have just one social group you've got your apartment and your course um, then you have the, the group that you, which you probably like the most and that is uh, the group with all the commonality which is the sports club or society you know you go out with social with them if you play on a Wednesday everyone will understand that Wednesday, Wednesday night for sports clubs and societies is the biggest night you know uh, and it's really enjoyable to to see that because everyone's there because they play sport and it's a great commonality to have. Um, <clears throat> another reason why it's good for students to do that is because of the social dynamic. You, um, If you haven't played sports before and you want to give it a go, you understand how to socialise in groups. And it sounds bonkers, um, but in these times of you know social media, we, sort of, we have sort of lost a little bit of contact between uh, human to human. Where we don't, we, you know, we're not comfortable in big groups we don't understand how to socialize in big groups don't understand how to work in big groups uh, the politics of big groups you know as you go up through the you know, sports club or society you know if you want something to add into your cv become a committee member and i'll talk about that in a second but when you become a committee member your goal absolutely flips it goes from actually just having fun and doing the things that you care about to actually having to how are you going to push this group forward you know what's going to be good for the group what decisions can i make how can i influence it you know, are in a spot of bother. How do we get out of that with the SU? Uh, it happened many times while I was at university. Um, you know, so, and then when you transfer that into a business setting, you know, when you go for your first job and they see that you're actually in a sports club or society, they, you know, if, if someone comes to me and say, oh, I was, you know, I was in a sports club or society, I, I'm, I'm pretty much know that they're going to know and understand, you know, they're going to interact well within a group. So when I place them into that setting with five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten others, I know they're going to be comfortable there because they've done it, they've been there. Whereas those that um, haven't, you know, they, they might have the, the, person, the personal skills already, but obviously if not, it's, it's out of their comfort zone. That's no problem with that, because you should get out of their comfort zone, but they're going to find it a lot harder than if they've already done it at university, and university is a great place to try. So, big plus on the social dynamic side. Yeah, and I've just said, it, that's how it helps you get a job, because you're able to look at the social dynamics, you get the unwritten rules, you get the etiquette of the group, um, you know, you understand when to talk, when not to talk, you know, how when someone acts, how you react to something, and you understand groups within a group, and all that kind of stuff. It's all these things that people don't talk about, but as a business, people like to see, um, and, and that's why I think it massively helps with getting a job afterwards, because you already understand groups, how to fit in, how to adapt um, as a person. And I think if you're willing and uh, want to push yourself, I think you should always join the committee, um, after the first or second year and why do I say this because you can add this onto your CV it's a very good point because it shows that actually you've seen uh, the society or the club from the other side from the flip side so 
being a social sector, a club president, a club captain, a you know a fundraiser, and um, you're actually putting yourself in the business of <clears throat> pardon me. Uh, you're actually putting yourself on the flip side, on the other side of the fence, where you're where you're asking people to do something, and they might not want to do it, but you have to tell you have to ask them. You know, this is the reason why we're doing it, and you have to get them to buy into that. And you know, if you can show that and do that well at university, it's going to set you up really well, you know, in your job. Because when you're trying to pitch an idea to someone or, you know, sell a, a project to someone or whatever it may be, you understand how to get people to buy in on, on that perspective already because you've done it in the committee, you've done it in the, as a, you know, in the sport. You know, why is it good um, to buy, uh, I'll talk about hockey, for instance, why is it good to buy these really nice set of balls when all we're going to do is hit them over the fence? You know, well, if we build a higher fence, we can keep them, and it's nice to play with. You know, why why is it good to do that? And from a business perspective, it's really nice to see because they know and they already understand that you, you know, a little bit more from the other side perspective. That you know, when they're asking you to do something, you are you were in that position once, so it really helps. You understand, and you can adapt to it. It also helps you understand politics with the group. Now, for instance, you you know, whenever there's a group, whenever there is a society, a group, there's always politics. You can't get around it. Just look at the UK, you know. We're right for politics at the minute and Brexit. But that's because we're in a group. You know, if you, if you go down into more granular, and there'll be more groups within groups within groups within groups. And there's always politics within groups. And we can never get away from the politics. So if, any, if someone leaves the group because of politics, they're only going to find it somewhere else. But it's probably politics they like. Um, but I'm divulging. But obviously, if you go into the committee, you understand, you know, these politics and what you have to do in order to, you know, keep people's spirits high and what is right to do and what's wrong to do. It's good experience. Um, as I mentioned before, you know, if you join a committee, if you are a captain, even if you're a player and you help out, you know, you get to go on the socials. It gets you out there. You can see other parts of the world. And finally, on my list is Wednesday nights. Uh, they are the best. I used to really enjoy Wednesday nights. But one final point before I go <clears throat> is if you join one and then obviously in the you know in the city or the town that you go to university and they usually have a Saturday league or a Saturday club as well. You know, if you join that as well, you're opening yourself up to a whole different range of people and it's just, just from one sport or one club. You know, you join the university one, you join a Saturday one, and actually you meet all the people that are living and working there. So next time you want a job, <coughs> pardon me. So the time you want a job, you know, you can go to your hockey family, and um, you can go to your football family, you can go to your ultimate frisbee family, you can go to whatever, you know, the law family and say, you know, I'm looking for a job, can anyone help me? And they're all going to be connected in there. They go, yeah, you know, this, this guy's got a job at the minute, this this person's got a job, you know. And it's it ultimately feels like a safe place for you to be. It is a family, you know, join the sports club or society, it's mental. You'll see it at the end of seasons, and it absolutely is a family. You know, you're there for three years, you grow with these people, you do so much with these people, you play on the pitch, you, you know, um, you socialise off the pitch and you go on so many nights out and you have so much fun. Actually, it does become a family. You know, you've got your house and apartment, it's one family, and then you've got your sports club and society. And it is a shortcut to university because you can find out so much more information in here than you can just going through it by yourself. I fully recommend it, as you can tell. Highly passionate about it. But give it a whirl. Even if you don't play a sport or anything like that, join a society. There's tons. Even if you like to go to the gym alone, there's um, a ma- you know, there must be a bodybuilding society or a mass society. Uh, everything. The society, everything. And if there isn't a society, create one. You only need 14 members, I believe, roughly. It might might depend uh, on which uni you go to, but 14 members, and then you can get support from the SU to help fund it. Give it a whirl. Hope this has been useful. Any questions? Let me know.